What is up my nerds, we are back again with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels. Uh, for today, I'm gonna be doing another replay, uh, but this time, uh, it's gonna be uh, between uh, Light Swords and Cyber Dragons. Uh, for once, it's not gonna be just, you know, the people you already know. Uh, I'm gonna be dueling uh, another person uh, in DevPro. So, special shout out to uh, Ages of Grace for uh, letting me upload his uh, this match. So I don't have to like cover names, just like I did on the first on one of my videos. So, which is cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get this replay started. So I don't, I didn't go first. He did. So he goes and sets to go to red card card D and starts. So at this point, I don't know what he's running. I didn't know what he was running. So then I go ahead and okay, I'm gonna go with trooper and know that three and just poke him for that 1900. This is like. If you guys see Light Swords do this, this is like super defensive play on their side. They're like, cause like, uh, like for me personally, I am super scared of back rows. So what I do is just, you know, I'm just gonna like, you know, do my small, like, uh, some very minimal plays I can do, and I'm just gonna keep poking un un until he actually does stuff. Uh, if you guys can see, my hand is kind of workable. Then he goes in and summons that Dre. And it's like, oh, okay, there goes my card trooper. So I get get that draw. Yeah, that's not a, that's, a, that's a really good card to draw. So go ahead and goes for my uh, go ahead and go for my turn. So I use foolish burial to send in a Lila. Uh, if you guys are wondering why, um, I kind of need her to uh, for either for a Lumina target or just an extra name in the graveyard because you know, like I said, I am scared of back rows. I would run I would run three MSCs in this deck if I had if I would, but I have no room for it. So yeah, so like I said, super scared of back rows. So go ahead and do that, get get that Lila out. Then I got fiendish chain. Then he goes ahead and uh, activates uh, Cyber Network. This is a really awesome card for the Cyber Dragons. This is like, uh, this is like a, I guess slower, much deadlier uh, return from a different dimension. So, basically for me, this is a big, uh, this is a big. <laughs> I I I, I um, like for Light Swords, If you stop their like kind of like initial summon just and. You kind of like stop their mills. It's kind of like a huge error in me for them. So, so uh, Cyber Network's counting because it goes away in like three turns, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So, so my look. I go, I go again for that Lila. So I attempt to get rid of that face down. I don't wanna. Then he goes ahead and MSTs it, um, which is, which was an excellent play because I wouldn't want to get rid of this just so he can summon a big beat stick on me. Because right now I can't really do anything against that. I can defend myself. I have a garden and I have yeah, I have one garden in the graveyard. So yeah, he goes in and plays MST to pop his own cyber network, which is excellent because um, this would matter. This would matter like much later on in the duel, but I'm gonna say right now anyway. Um, if you pop this card, you will special summon as many yeah as many cyber dragon uh, removed from play. Light machine types, not just cyber dragons. Oh wow, okay. And uh, yeah, from your banner zone uh, to your field, but you can't conduct your battle phase when this effect act uh, activates. So it goes ahead and activate. Ac yeah, okay. So he goes ahead and activates the first the, the first effect, which uh, you can banish one light machine type from your from your deck once per turn. Then he goes ahead and activates the the special summon. So he goes in for the go dual cyber dragon. So I'm like, oh okay, I'm in trouble. And uh, my mills weren't that great because I mill I milled both solar uh, two solar recharges and I also milled the uh, light charge light brigade and I milled double Raikos. So I'm like ah, oh, I need one more name. So he has a he has a he has a really good, he, I, I was worried at this point because I didn't know what he was uh, what he was in his hand when we we're actually dueling. But because I'm still super worried because he has like seven cards in his hand, so he can still do something outrageous. Now, uh, yeah, we can, we can uh, continue. He goes in for that Dre and turns everything to level five. Then goes in for that damage. That's why he didn't go uh, XE's play yet. So I, I negated one. Then the last one I used to summon Gores. I, I go for that 21 defense. Then he goes in for summons his boss monster. This is this is the new card that came with the structure deck that was released uh, last week. Yeah, it was last week. Uh, it's called Cyber Dragon Nova. So basically, what he does, uh, really uh, briefly, um, he can special summon one Cyber Dragon from his uh, graveyard by detaching, and then um, once per turn, you can he can banish one Cyber Dragon monster from his hand or field. 
Yeah, and it basically doubles its, its attack. Well, it, just, it says it gains 21, but technically it's doubling it. And uh, if, if, this, if this card dies by your opponent's card effect, uh, he gets to summon a, a Cyber Dragon Fusion Monster. So, or, oh, one machine type fusion. Okay, it doesn't have to be Cyber Dragon. So, this is a very, this is a very amazing card. Like, okay, you, you, it's really hard to get over it by battle because it's going to be 4200. And if you try to pop it, it's going to summon potentially a Cyber Twin or a Cyber End Dragon, which is like, ha has a way more uh, ridiculous place. So, okay, go ahead and continue. So I'm like, oh jeez. Okay, then I go. I went ahead and summoned my my uh, light ray Diabolos. I'm like, oh, finally, it's five names. Um, if you guys are wondering why I'm running this, uh, it's kind of like to because it's a dragon. Kind of, it kind of helps my uh, my Redox engine, and because it can target a light and kind of like target a set card, and it can potentially get rid of an annoying back row or lock lock your opponent from drawing. It's like whenever I get this card out, it's like, you know, I'm it means it's already, it's already a fun duel. So I went ahead and go for just attack. Yeah, so I attacked both of his, both of his uh, Cyber Dragon. Because he can... Uh, the effect uh, is during either player's turn. So he can just banish one of them to bump his own attack. But he, he's well aware that I'm not gonna... I probably won't attack his uh, his Nova because that would be silly. So yeah, I just went ahead and get, got rid of both Cyber Dragons. And then I went for... <laughs> I almost like in real life guys I never I've never done this before so I just added in big eye just cuz you know cuz Redox level 7, Gore is level 7, uh, Jabolos is level 7 so I just added that big eye you know just whatever and you know finally that situation happened I mean I've been waiting for this for quite a while <laughs> so we can go ahead and continue so I, go, I, I stole his uh, cyber dragon Nova and th this threatening just in case he has dark hole or whatever okay activates that um, Repair plant, yeah, and adds a uh, core. Normal summons a core, searches for another uh, cyber spell and trap. Then he goes ahead and uh, summons a uh, chimera tech. Now, if you guys are wondering what happened, um, cyber dragon core is when it's on the field, as, I think, it, yeah, as well as his dre, uh, they are treated as cyber dragons. And it, this is an excellent, especially if you're, you're up against like a mirror match against a machine. So, that was that was like an excellent play for him to get to. I'd say, you know, ret retrieve his uh, Cyber Dragon Nova, but not exactly, like, on his side of the field. But, so, he goes ahead and uh, summons Chimera Tech. You don't need a fusion, you don't need polymerization to summon this guy. And, yeah, he can just send a Cyber Dragon in every machine type from either player side of the field to the graveyard, and you can summon him from your extra deck. And he gains 1k for each machine type that was sent. So, yeah. So, activate Threatening Roar because, you know, I don't want to lose my big eye. He goes set a back row, and I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and steal that, because, you know, it's a big guy. It's like it's one of the most the meanest card ever. So, yeah, so I attacked, and he just drops a uh, switch card. I'm like, oh, interesting. Um, out of all, I'm just gonna pause it really quick. Out of all the the Cyber Dragons that I've seen, I haven't really seen anybody use Swift Square Girl. Maybe I haven't just dueled enough to see that, but um, this is like, this is an awesome tech for them because it is it is a machine and it stops your OTKs because like like most uh, other heavy beatdown decks like, you know, the Blue Eyes deck or whatever, their major, a major weakness is uh, once they get rid of your big monsters, you're kind of like, you know, like kind of in trouble. So this is like an excellent way to, uh, to, to save you a turn. Because you know if they attack you directly, you can just drop this card to the graveyard and they skip your battle phase. So yeah. Okay, so he goes in and uh okay, continue. He goes in and activates overload fusion. I'm like, oh my goodness, I am so screwed. So he banishes I believe one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it six? I think he just summoned five. I don't remember, I didn't see. Anyways, so yeah, he goes ahead and banishes uh, materials for uh, Chimera Attack Over Dragon. I'm like, oh. so this thing ended up having uh, uh, 4800 attack, and it can attack all my monsters, like depending on the number of uh, materials it banished. So yeah, I'm just like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm screwed. Uh, uh, one thing though that kind of didn't go as planned on his side. Um, when this guy is summoned, uh, you will, you kind of basically nuke your own field. So because Cyber Network was there, 
Is it mandatory? Hold on, let's see. Let me express my oh yeah, it's mandatory. So he didn't have a choice but to end up summoning some stuff that he uh, banished, which is still good because he kind of like solidified his his defense. But the downside is that like I was chatting with him and I was when I was uh, dueling him, I was like, how come how come you didn't finish me? How come you didn't finish me off? You could have finished me off with uh, Chimera Tech. But then he was like, oh, I couldn't attack. I did I did not know that you uh, at that, at, that, at that point I did not know that you can't do your battle phase when you when this card gets popped and some and swarms your field. Uh, yeah, swarms your field. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. So learn something new today. It, it, know, it's a similar thing when people don't read the last sentence of uh, uh, Evil Swarm Exit on Night. I'm like, okay, you nuke my field, and he just keeps attacking. He's like, oh, how come I didn't, you didn't take damage? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> read the last sentence of the card, man. So yeah. So this is an example of like you know Yu-Gi-Oh is a learning process, you guys. So. Like I said, like nobody is really like a master of this game. Everybody makes mistakes. So yeah, I didn't continue. So it's my turn. I'm like, okay, I need to uh, get rid of that monster. I cannot get, I cannot uh, run over a 4800 attacker. And I think my honest is still in the deck. So much worse. So I used to go ahead and activ activate that dark hole to get rid of everything on the field. And like I said before, Cyber Dragon Nova's effect. When you pop it with your uh, with an opponent's card effect, then it special summons a uh, machi light machine type, which is Cyber and Dragon would be like the highest attack. If you're going for more damage, or if your opponent has no uh, monsters on board, you can just go for a Cyber Twin, so you can attack twice, which is like 28 twice. Um, so yeah, and went ahead and, and uh, summon Judgment Dragon. Now, um, just to comment, uh, just comment on this. Um, this this card is really good, like hands down. Like I'm not even gonna say anything bad about this card because in most in most decks, it's just that you know, uh, he was just up against Light Swords and you know Judgment Dragon is really fair, right? So uh, if you uh, most people would go through a lot of resources just to get rid of uh, this card, and uh, you know and if they do successfully uh, pop it, then they get into more trouble. Because either it gets, it summons like a really big monster, or you know, sort of something else. So, uh, yeah, just to uh, just kind of like tell you guys about that card. This is uh, actually I'm very interested in the structure. Like I'm actually try this in real life, and because uh, it looks like it looks like so much fun, especially if you if you're like the type who wants to summon like really big monsters with lots of attack. Uh, it's just that you know, it's not fair. Judgment Dragon, <laughs> top the field. Then go in and I attack directly. He was like, okay, he dropped another Swift character. I'm like, oh, okay, so this duel is not over yet. So go ahead and continue. Mill my four, and I milled a wolf and a guard now, which is fortunate. Now he goes ahead and okay, um, goes for a uh, repair unit. Adds uh, oh, okay, he bounced uh, a Dre to uh, is it? Yeah. Okay, so he. Uh, bounced uh, Dre from his graveyard to his deck. Now he went ahead and uh, banished all of his light machines to summon uh, Cyber El Tenon. El Tenon? Yeah. Um, so I was like, oh no. So what he does is uh, he gains 500 attack for each uh, remove from play uh, light machine types. And whenever when he special summoned uh, all other face up monsters, like you know, it's basically nuke nuke all the monsters. So it's like kind of like uh, thunder and dragon or something like that. So I was like, oh my goodness. So so he goes ahead and um, if he if I didn't, this is just you know it's because it's light sworn, so it's like you know luck luck based mostly. If I didn't mill this gardener guys, I would have lost. I would have swallowed 3500 whole, and uh, you know. Yeah, it was a, it was an excellent play for them. It was an excellent play for him. So he goes ahead and um, uh, what he did here, I believe, is he was trying to go for uh, Dre's effect, but unfortunately, Cyber Eltonin isn't treated as a Cyber Dragon. So he he was probably hoping that um, he could have summoned like an XE, like a protective Xyz like level R five, which is I don't know, for example, uh, Tyrus. Because you know, Judgment Dragon will have a hard time dealing with that. Because Tyrus can't be destroyed as long as it has uh, uh, XYZ material. So yeah, I then realize like, oh, okay, that doesn't work. So I go ahead and, and uh, basically this duel is mine. I still didn't know like what his. Cause I thought he probably had like a Swiss character, but whatever. Like, might as well use it. So I went ahead and used Monster Incarnation. 
and got my dragon back, dragon back. Then I special summoned him, nuke the field because it's fair, <laughs> and I just attack directly for a game. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. And again, special shout out to Ages of Grace for for letting me uh, upload this duel with him for you guys. So uh, so yeah, I just thought that I'd upload this uh, this match because. Um, I found it very fun. I was like having so much fun with this duel. Like it wasn't it wasn't like one sided where like you know most I don't know most Cyber Dragon structured structured decks that I dueled were like oh, okay they do their play them okay I drop Dragon Dragon and that's you know, game over. Um, he actually pushed me to a corner in this one so uh, so I found yeah it was it was it was so much fun and uh, you know told you guys before Yu Gi Oh isn't always about winning or you know trying to like be super mean to your opponent you know. You can just have that uh, awesome way of like trying to like you know having like a, that even ground with your opponent and regardless of what deck you guys are using uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll catch you guys later peace